Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your um, weekly reading. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on. All right, so this week we are going to do a news spread. We're going to see what um, what the present situation is, influence, challenge, final outcome, and then the theme. All right, so let's see. Let's get into it. What is the present situation for the Cancer Collective? The present Okay, the present situation. Six of Wands. All right, taking the high road. Um, getting a recognition. Uh, achieving something. A personal victory. Um, staying unscathed from a cheating scandal. Um, not being involved in it or being involved with it. Says the Six of Wands. Um, strutting your stuff walking off winning the battle maybe not the war but the battle by just extracting yourself from it and not engaging all right and what is the influence for uh cancer this week the devil Ooh. all right so it could be uh the influence is um maybe someone you're highly attracted to highly um, sexually attracted to. It could be a third party. It could be low vibrational energy. It could be an, a, a complete energy match. It could be someone um, who, who you're playful with or there's an air of carelessness or uh, playfulness again coming up um, with the devil card. It could be toxic. I'm trying to refrain from that. The influence is the devil card talks about choices um it says don't be too extravagant in your choices okay the devil card also says uh, make sure you're not making the choice that will lead you down the road of entrapment or, or feeling stuck tied and bound that is the devil card here um, where you're going to have to get out of a cycle you're going to have to work your way out of that toxicity um, out of that low vibrational energy. This could also, the influence here could be addiction. It could be overspending. It could be in debt or indebted to. Um, it's something that's got a hold on you or a tie to you or on you, uh, Cancer. Let's see what the challenge is this week. What is the challenge for the Cancer? What is the challenge? All right. Is the Six of Cups. Okay, so making a healthy choice. So um, the six talks about health, fitness, systematic um, energy, uh, the analytical nature. And so you get two sixes coming up here. So your week is definitely about making the healthier choice. Um, these are polar opposite, of course. You know, this would be a healthier choice. Um, the devil card is ask, it's telling you. You know, something that's going to put you in a place of feeling entrapped, stuck, tied, bound. The challenge also could be um, the ties that you have to towards the past or someone you grew up with or you, you grew into a relationship with. Um, maybe someone who has hold, you know, holds on your children or you have a, a tie or a bond to their children. With the Six of Cups here, it says that um, the challenge is... Um, taking responsibility and reframing from um, immature, childish uh, argument. The, the challenge is growth. Is um, You got childishness coming up twice. I don't know if it's you that is childish or if it's someone else. It's like this is the opportunity to choose growth, to choose a better and healthier way of existing for some of you this is just going to be 
health and well-being. Whoa, we got three sixes. I didn't see that. So definitely your week is about choices, okay? Um, healthy ones, ones that benefit hopefully the whole, but definitely benefit you all together. Um, this is the challenge, making a decision to grow. To go from child, from boy to man, um, to see growth, to have growth here. Uh, to make healthier choices around your health and well-being, your mental health, your emotional health, uh, relationships. Make sure that where you are putting your energy, effort, time, there is a sense of usefulness and service. That's really what matters. Because if you decide to put your energy time into things that are not useful to you or to other people or not or you're not of service, then you feel bored, depleted, without. You feel a void. So that's what we have there. Um, that's the challenge this week. And what's the final outcome for cancer? The final outcome for cancer. Final outcome. The Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you may just choose to to go it alone, to rely on yourself, to put energy, effort, time into yourself. You know that you can rely on yourself, that you can depend on self. You may choose to keep relationships, you know, at arm's length, at bay. I don't want to have a intimate connection, a heart-to-heart -heart closeness, vulnerability session with anybody. I don't want that. Um, you may choose to cultivate uh, you may choose to kind of dive into spirituality because you're at a place of where money is good, your well-being is good so now you can put energy, effort, time into spirituality, your um, emotional state if you're a business owner, you are coming up with new creative ways of how to um, better uh, run your business, handle business. You be, you're being a savvy business owner, getting things done, working smarter and not harder. Um, it's a lot of health and well-being and choices. Something is saying come out and play. And you might know it's not a good choice for you. But you have been given it attention. And then there's a healthier choice here in terms of maybe even choosing yourself. What is the theme for this week? What's the theme here? Why is all of this happening? What's the theme? What's the lesson? What's the theme? The hierophant, yeah. Structure, routine, traditional traditionalism morals values um do you have them is there a lack of that is there a lack of regimen routine structure morality a value system guidance it's like the universe is trying to guide you to um making better choices for yourself in relationship just overall yourself making better choices for yourself um, health and well-being who you choose to align yourself with making sure that you have balance and harmony in all connections making sure things work what is the Six of Wands? Why is the week about the Six of Wands? Why is the present situation the Six of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. So um, something has shifted, has changed. Maybe there's a soulmate here also. Divine timing. Um, an end to a cycle, a period. Uh, luck. Growth. Maybe even, again, with that 10 turning into a 1 redefining yourself, remaking yourself, remodeling yourself. Um, again, with all these sixes coming up, health and well-being, working out, 
taking care of everybody, eating right, health, um, fitness, what works, what fits. Um, so you may be having getting a makeover, or you may be trying to reinvent yourself to the world, or, or present something else, or yeah, present present something else to the world in terms of your self identity. Why is the devil here in the influence? I think because something is tempting you to make, to go backwards, to go back into that third party situation, to go back into that low vibrational energy, to drink, smoke, carry on, eat that, um, have a rotation of, you know, partners. I don't know. Something is tempting you to go backwards, okay? Um, but it's like the universe wants you to take the higher road, okay? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for my cancers? This the two of pentacles, yeah. Um, weighing up a decision. Something is up in the air. Um, you, you've been trying to juggle it. It's been okay. It hasn't been stressful, but you've been trying to keep it up. Keep up appearances also. Uh, keep up a front. You know, this is the juggler, okay? This card says that there's a juggler on stage stage is life right and the juggler knows that he needs to keep up the act because there are people watching so you could this also could be monetarily like once again the the devil talks about debt and being indebted to and monies and um overspending overindulging overdoing it just overindulging just not having any balance here um and therefore now you have to work hard you have to transfer money or you have to balance out the books or you have to make it all make sense and it is a juggling act and you got to keep it all up here um why is the challenge to six of cups why is the challenge the six of cups the two of swords okay um so there could have been a breakdown in a close relationship all right um, there's lack of cooperation. There's fertility here. It could work, but you guys have to have a plan. Right now, you, you could be estranged from someone. Um, there's, once again, a decision needing to be made. You know, the two here. Um, I think you know that. The other person knows that something is up in the air. There's something also not seen or not being looked at. You don't know something about the other person. They don't know something about you. It could be about paperwork and red tape and legalities and maybe your past um, balancing something out, making a decision also. Um, you've got a choice and then you have to decide, okay? You have to make the choice and then decide. So you're going to have to choose and then cut away, okay? Um The two of swords here, it says that um, reconciliation reunion is coming up soon, but it could just be just that reconciliation and reunion and nothing more, especially if you don't have a plan or a course of action to take in terms of moving this forward. It says weigh the pros and the cons. Right now, the best thing to do is to not deal with it, just walk away, not make a decision to walk away. This is... The best way to deal with whatever the situation this is. And this is what someone could be doing. Either you or the other person. Blocking something out. Walking away. Knowing that you're going to have to come back to it. Or that it will resurface. But um, walking away here. And it's got something to do with the past. How you dealt with someone. How someone's. It could be a soulmate. How someone was really genuinely true good to you it made sense they were healthy for you um this person could be blocking you out it says way the pros and the cons of coming back to this and the final outcome of the week for cancer is the nine of pentacles and then the seven of wands so it looks like you just want to maintain your peace and quiet in your space and your autonomy um 
it says it's maybe in a relationship someone's going to be trying hard to get your attention and to maintain your attention and they could be having a destructive influence on you or vice versa or it's mutual um but there's also but there's definitely um it looks like there's a cancer here who or there's someone it could be you it could be the other person who just wants to go it alone who wants to rely on themselves who does not want to be in partnership right now doesn't want any intimate connection doesn't want anyone inside of their home or heart space they don't have room for it or their heart is not open there needs to be heart shock or balance and or healing someone's trying to maintain their peace their quiet um someone standing on this square too they are not coming off of what they truly think is is right um is is truth and is real why is the hierophant the theme of the week why is the hierophant the theme okay the three of swords coming out with the hierophant and um, the hierophant talks about balance morality traditionalism values Routine, regimen, structure, guidance, three of swords. Could be a breakdown in the connection, could be a third party situation. Could be that meddling, pesky other man, other woman. Could be heartbreak. Um, could just be um, breakdown in communication here, no effective communication. Um, there's no listening. There's a lot of rah 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 in arguing and fighting, but there's no, there's nothing that is affecting any type of change of course or course correction. You or the other person feels like this is a losing battle. No one wins in this. There's nothing but losers. Somebody feels as if they need to cut their losses. Um, they feel as if this is, um, it's just bad blood between you and someone else. Um, the overall theme is also someone is, of course, not knowing if if maybe the other person is getting a divorce or a separation. Um, not knowing that somebody else has been cut out or is this person cutting someone out. Red tape and paperwork coming up. Not sure what that means for some of you. Let's leave cancer with one card of... Um, Advice. Cancer with one card of advice. Cancer with one card of advice. Looks like you you try to you get out of a situation by just taking yourself away from it. Something is trying to pull you back, or there's an energetic cord here that just that's still tethered to another person. You were trying to balance this out. You were trying to juggle it. You were trying to deal with it. Trying to put it out of your mind or or for some of you, you were trying to juggle two people or someone's trying to juggle you and another person. It just looks like in the overall outcome of this, you just want to remain single, um, not attached. You don't have room to for intimate uh, relationships. Um, I heard love stinks. <laughs> okay, love stinks. Um the Hierophant and the Three of Swords. Someone could have broken your heart. Someone who you thought like you would be in a long-term relationship with. Someone who you were in a long-term relationship with. Um, there's also uh, indecision. There's instability. Okay. Uh, it, yeah, instability. Therefore, you need to stabilize something. Um, there's instability and now there's breakdown. What's the one card we want to leave cancer with? This week. One card we want to leave cancer. One card we want. Wow, your card, the chariot. It says overcome obstacles. Take yourself, a situation, a relationship, a marriage, a business partnership, how you deal in interpersonal relationships, equality. Take it all in a new direction. One that brings um a positive new direction, okay? Um control this situation this relationship you you have the control here um take the reins here you can steer this in whatever way you would like to steer it 
with the major arcana. Your major arcana coming up. Whatever obstacle here, an obstacle is maybe a breakdown in a close relationship. One that you thought was uh, very healthy. Maybe a soulmate connection. Um, it says that you have the ability to steer it in the right direction. A new positive direction. Okay. So that's what I have for you kids. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Paper your question and receive the answer to your question on, on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Take care.